trying to attract some bees to the garden, so I made this thing. I chose mason bees because the internet was saying they're way better than honeybees at pollinating. Kind of makes me feel like we're doing honeybees dirty with the mason bee marketing there. So I'll say that mason bees can easily pollinate over 1,600 flowers a day. And also all bees are nice. This is a little holder that I made for these sticks that are gonna become the bee houses so that I could drill a hole all the way through it. But I had to flip the stick in the holder so that I could drill both sides and try to meet in the middle, which is not the best way to do it. I would just get a longer drill bit. That would make it much easier. I didn't really measure anything when I was making this. I just kind of cut everything to a length that looked right. I did, however, measure the angles. All of those were divisions of three, six, and nine. One of the only crucial things is that the depth of the bee houses ends up being between three and six inches. That's what they tend to like. As I was working on this one slat, there's these two eyes that were staring back at me. So I had to flush it out with a nose and a mouth. I think we need a name for this guy. Man, watching myself trim the bottom of this bee house is just the absolute opposite of ASMR. This honeycomb pattern is just a bunch of 120 degree angles that have equal length sides. Then I took it over to the scroll saw and I cut it out on a slight angle. This is my second attempt at using the soldering iron as a wood burning tool. I can show you what the first attempt was. It does an okay job, but I don't feel like I have very much control over it. I took each of the sticks and I split them down the center. And then I twist tied them back together with some copper wire. This is so at the end of the season, you can perform some maintenance and put the bees into hibernation. If this is something that you feel like you wanna do, I would seek out some additional information on this. I'm not providing enough to really get you going, I'm just showing you what I did. I'm finishing this with some pure food grade tongue oil. This is what I finish everything in the garden with because it's safe for insects and animals, but also for people. This is that wasp house thing that I was showing you earlier. Obviously there's nothing in here anymore. And I don't think I coated this one, so it didn't hold up very well. You might be wondering why this was filmed vertically. I was gonna just do this as a short, but I filmed way too much. So here we are. You know, the end result isn't that bad. I do like the edges, how they're beveled and they have that honeycomb pattern. But here's the thing, mason bees don't make honeycomb. So this whole design doesn't make any sense. But I think it looks nice.
subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this.